Welcome to Hopkinton High School. It is a beautiful Monday evening as the 8 and 1 Hopkinton Hillers are set to welcome in the 8 and 0 Norton Lan Lancers. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call for what should be a very good Tri Valley League matchup. This could end up uh, being a game towards the title seeing how these two teams have performed all season long. Once again, Hopkinton 8-1, Norton 8-0, two top-of-the-line TVL teams meeting up today here at the softball fields of Hopkinton High School. Let's take a look at the Hillers' defense as Norton just about set to come to the plate. The pitcher will be Juliet Hume. Liz Kelly will be her battery mate. Kayla Sullivan over at first base. Molly Bennett at second base. Kate Wellzell, the shortstop. Nicole Como at third base. From left to right, Lizzie Whittles, Hannah Engstrom, and Renee Cooprider. And now for the Norton Lancers batting order. Leading off will be Taylor Sabati, the center fielder. Batting second, Cassie Phillips, the second baseman. Steph Noski will bat third and play third base. Carly Acaro will bat cleanup and catch. Kelly Nelson will bat fifth and pitch. Kylie Barrows batting sixth, playing first base. Leah Butner batting seventh, playing right field. The designated player is Olivia Peterson. And Jen Karamanica, the left fielder, rounding out the batting order for Norton. Alex Rontino, the odd man out, playing shortstop for the Lancers as we are set to go. Taylor Sabati leading things off for Norton. And Juliet Hume had a terrific week last week and really her first full week as the starter. Was out the first few games of the season. The first pitch is inside, one and zero. Oh. In a little while, we'll take a look at the league leaders, which are heavily dominated by the Hopkinton Hillers. That pitch up high, 2 and 0. Oh. Jenna Bogan leading the league in batting average with a 579. Kayla Sullivan, who's also a Hiller, is third with a 571. That pitch in there for a strike. Kayla Sullivan also leading in home runs with three. Four others have one home run. But Sullivan already with three, the lineup and the pitch. There's a swinging strike. Kayla Sullivan also leading in slugging percentage, a 964. And she, le she leads in runs batted in with 18 as Hume delivers a strike and one down. That'll bring up Cassie Phillips, the second baseman. Jenna Bogan leading an on-base percentage, a 652, leading the league, the TVL. As Hume to the set, delivers, swinging strike. Cassie Phillips, a junior, 484 on the season. Lineup and the pitch down low. As for Juliet Hume, three starts, three wins, no runs given up as of right now. As that pitch is in there for ball two. The senior Juliet Hume has thrown a total of 15 innings, swinging strike. She's given up six hits, no runs, 31 strikeouts. Quite impressive numbers for the senior. Hume delivers, and that is a beauty of a pitch for strike three. Two up, two down. That'll bring up Steph Noski. And you're gonna see Hume has some nasty movement on her breaking pitches. She'll start low and then raise high in the zone. And it's very deceiving to hitters. Swinging strike there. Steph Noski, a freshman, a 533. Certainly a player to watch, only a freshman. 16 for 30 overall, there's strike two. She has a home run 
two doubles and two triples. A good hitter is Stefanoski as Hume set to deliver. And that is just low. One and two is your count. Hume to the set, fouled away into the backstop. Count remains one and two. And it is a beautiful day. Temperatures are in the low 80s here in Hopkinton. A little bit of a nice breeze. The sun is shining. There's a swinging strike. Three up, three struck out. And the Hopkinton Hillers coming up on the bottom of the first. Bottom of the first inning, the Hopkinton Hillers set to come to the plate to face Kelly Nelson. We'll get you the stats on Nelson in just a minute as Hannah Ingstrom steps to the plate. Line up and the pitch, just low, one and oh. Let's take a look at the Hopkinton Hillers batting order. Hannah Ingstrom leading off playing center field. Lindsey Whittles batting second, playing left field as this is hit in the air to left field, foul territory and out of play. Liz Kelly, the catcher, batting third, hitting cleanup and playing first base is Kayla Sullivan. Kate Wellzell, the shortstop, batting fifth. Jenna Bogan, the designated player, batting sixth. Juliet Hume, the pitcher, batting seventh as that pitch is outside. Nicole Como playing third base, batting eighth. Molly Bennett batting ninth, playing second base. Renee Coop Ryder, the odd man out, playing right field. As that pitch outside, a three and one count. Nelson to the set, on the ground, up the middle, in a center field, base hit. Ingstrom aboard to start things off for the Hillers, and that'll bring up Lindsey Whittles. Line up and the pitch in there for a strike. Kelly Nelson, the pitcher, a freshman. 0.38 ERA, 8 and 0 on the season. A terrific pitching matchup today. As that is in there for a strike, nearly got away, but a good save by Arcaro behind the plate. The freshman has pitched 56 total innings, giving up 27 hits, 13 runs, only three of which were earned. as Whittles awaits the pitch. And the lefty takes a ball, one and two. We'll take a look at the Norton field in just a moment as Nelson's set to deliver. That is just high, two and two. Nel Kelly Nelson, the pitcher, Carly Arcaro, her battery mate behind the plate. Line up and the pitch is down low, three and two. At first base, Kylie Barrows, Cassie Phillips at second base, Ali Frontino the shortstop, Steph Noski the third baseman, the windup and the pitch. Fouled away, count remains full. Jennifer Carmanica is the left fielder as Nelson delivers, fouled away. Center fielder is Taylor Labotti, right fielder Leah Butner, rounding out the Norton defense. Nelson set to deliver. And there is a swinging strike, got away from the catcher, and she's called out. Hannah Ingstrom did advance to second on the pass ball. A strikeout for Whittles, one away. That'll bring up Liz Kelly to the plate. Nelson is set to deliver as she awaits the sign. There's a strike. 
0 and 1. The line up and the pitch down low. Engstrom will get back to the second base bag. She thought about taking off. Nelson to the set. And that is in there for a strike. Nelson delivers. Down low, that's ball three. Three and one count. This is hit in the air, first base side, and gloved by Kylie Barrows for the second out. And the sun will be a factor in this game. The sun behind the field, but it could affect the infield players especially. And now there's going to be a conference among the infielders on the mound to discuss what to do with Kayla Sullivan at the plate. Kayla Sullivan, one of the best hitters in the Tri-Valley and probably the state. Leading the TVL in a number of major categories or close to the top. She leads in home runs with three. Leading in slugging percentage, runs batted in. She's in the mix for on base percentage at third with a 613. Nelson set to deliver and that is down low. One and O count on the cleanup hitter, Kayla Sullivan. Nelson to the set. And it's just low, two and O. Nelson delivers up high. Three and O count. And with these two pitchers on the mound, it's really going to come down to what team can defend better as there's a strike. To the set, line up and the pitch. In there for a strike. Full count. Nelson to the set. Hit in the air to right center towards the fence, that's gone! A two run home run. Kayla Sullivan's fourth homer of the season. It's two to nothing, Hillers. At any moment, Kayla Sullivan can strike, and she does there. Crushing it past the fence over in right center. That'll bring up Kate Wellzell. That's pretty incredible. Four home runs this early in the season. Hillers in their 10th game of the year. Is that pitch down low? Wide up and the pitch. That's upstairs. Nelson to the set, delivers a strike. Two and one. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Last game for the Hillers was an 18 to nothing victory against Millis as there's a strikeout. She'll try to run down to first, but throw will be well in time from Arcaro. And we will head to the top of the second, but not before. Kayla Sullivan goes yard, a two run blast. It's two to nothing Hillers heading to the second inning. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Westboro Pest Control. Don't tolerate, eliminate. If you have a pest problem, call them at 508-366-1820 or find them online at wpcpest.com. We are set for the top of the second inning. 
Due up for Norton, Carly Arcaro, Kelly Nelson, and Kylie Barrows. As the lefty steps to the plate. Lineup and the pitch from Hume. Check swing. And it's called strike. She could not quite check her swing. Hume to the set. There's strike two. Wide up and the pitch. And there is strike three. Four strikeouts after facing four hitters for Juliet Hume. Now Kelly Nelson coming to the plate. Hillers did not allow a run the entire week last week. The lineup and the pitch, there's a strike. To the set, there's strike two. Swinging strike, and that is the fifth strikeout. Start off the week, the Hillers beat Ashland on last Monday, 15 to nothing, and then they beat Millis last Wednesday, 18 to nothing, and then Medfield one to nothing. So they have outscored their opponents 34 to nothing in the last week. There's a strike, and if you clue this game, it's now 36 to nothing as it's two to nothing Hillers in the second inning. An 0 and 1 count, already two outs in the inning as Barrows awaits the pitch. There's a strike. That pitch just high. Wide up and the pitch, swinging strike. Keep in mind the Hillers are playing against an 8-0 team and Juliet Hume is making these hitters look silly. Six straight strikeouts. We head to the bottom of the second, two nothing Hillers. Bottom of the second, a two nothing Hillers lead. Coming up to the plate for Hopkinton is Jenna Bogan designated player today and she has had quite the season at the plate 579 batting average leading the league light up and the pitch and that is a tipped foul Jenna Bogan a senior to the set in the dirt Bogan has three doubles and a triple has driven in 10 runs and scored twice. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air towards right center, towards the fence, and that is going to get past the reach of Leah Butner, and that will be a two base hit for Jenna Bogan to start off the second inning. And now Juliet Hume will come to the plate. Bogan pulls off the double. Wind up and the pitch. This is hit in the air, foul. That was over towards us and kind of scary, the sun facing us, so when the ball's hit our way, can't quite see it that well. Nelson set to deal. And there's a strike. Oh and two. Juliet Hume at the plate. Not only is she a great pitcher, but she's also a pretty good hitter. The wind up and the pitch. This is on the ground, and that'll get into center field. That is going to be a base hit for Hume, and she will go to second on the throw in. Jenna Bogan went over to third. So Hume with the single, advancing to second on the throw in, and that'll bring up Nicole Como. 
Hume at the plate. How about this for a batting average? Was at a 800 heading into this game, but has only had five at bats heading into this game. Four for five at the plate, now five for six. There's a strike on Como. Still no outs in the inning. Miller's with two runners in scoring position, and that pitch is just low. One and one. And when you think about the future of the Norton pitcher, Kelly Nelson, pitching eight successful games leading up to this one as a freshman, quite unbelievable. Certainly has a bright future in softball. Is that pitch down low? Two and two count on Como. Como at a 292 mark on the season. As that is in there for strike three, so Como will sit down. That is the third strikeout of the game for Kelly Nelson. That'll bring up Molly Bennett. Bennett, a sophomore, having a great season at the plate, a 500 batting average, 11 for 22, has driven in six and scored 14 runs. Wind up and the pitch is down low. As the wind starts to get a little bit more aggressive, and the wind is blowing out towards the outfield, so it'll certainly help the ball carry. Wind up and the pitch. That is down low, two and oh. And I'm sure the two run homer by Kayla Sullivan certainly had a little bit of help from the wind, although she tattooed that ball, but the wind might have just given it that extra push to get past the outfield fence. This is hit in the air towards right center, and it will be caught. Runners will hold. Nice job by Leah Butner out in right field, making the catch and getting the ball in immediately to prevent Jenna Bogan from trying to score. And now Hannah Engstrom will come to the plate. Engstrom, a senior at a 333 on the season. Eight for 24 at the plate, has scored 11, and driven in six as the first pitch of ball. Nelson set to deal. Swinging strike. One and one. Nelson to the set. In there for a strike, one and two. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Another strikeout for Nelson, a nice job getting out of a bit of a jam to start the inning by Kelly Nelson and the Norton defense. We will head to the top half of the third. It's two to nothing, Hopkinton. Top half of the third inning, the Norton Lancers coming back up to the plate, trying to make up for a two to nothing Hillers lead after a Kayla Sullivan two run blast in the first inning to drive in Hannah Engstrom. Gave the Hillers the early lead, but so far Juliet Hume pitching a gem, six straight strikeouts heading into this inning. Two up for the Norton Lancers, Leah Butner, Olivia Peterson, and Jen Carmanica. Hume is set to deliver. There's a the ball to start things off. That's Leah Butner. Aggressive win today here at the field. Certainly doesn't help with paperwork as that pitch down low, 2 0. Butner, a sophomore, a 160 mark on the season. There's a little conference on the mound as Molly Bennett goes over to give Hume some words of wisdom. The wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. 2 and 1. Hume to the set, 
just high, three and one. Hume awaits the sign. Hume delivers and foul, three and two. Heading into this game, Juliet Hume has only walked one batter. How about that? One batter out of 54 faced. That is something you do not see a whole lot. Hume awaits the sign and deals. Followed away, good battle going on here between Leah Butner and Juliet Hume. Hume to the set, strike three. Olivia Peterson now coming up to the plate. That's the seventh strikeout of the game for Hume. Wide up and the pitch, there's a strike. Hume taking her time, waiting for the sign she likes. Delivers, upstairs. There's a strike, one and two. to the set, outside, two and two. The senior set to deliver. There's a swinging strike and that is another K for Juliet Hume. That's eight in a row. Jen Carmanica heading to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Carmanica, sophomore, 167 on the season. Three for 18 overall at the plate. Young team for the North Lancers, but a lot of young talent. There's a strike. And at this point in the season, if you're 8-0 and you only have two seniors on your roster, as the Norton Lancers do, that means you're going to have a good team for a couple years to come. As there's another strike, striking out the side for the third time in a row is Juliet Hume, and we will head to the bottom of the third, two nothing Hillers. The wind continuing to blow outward here at the softball diamond at Hopkinton High School. We enter the bottom of the third, a two nothing Hillers lead. Due up, Lindsey Whittles, Liz Kelly, Kayla Sullivan, the second, third, and fourth hitter in the Hillers lineup. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. For those of you just joining us, it has been quite a performance by Juliet Hume. Nine strikeouts to the nine hitters she's faced in this game so far. And Kelly Nelson, she's had a pretty good appearance as well. She has three strikeouts of her own, as there's a strike there. She gave up a double to Jenna Bogan to start the second inning, and then a single by Juliet Hume, but got out of it. A strikeout, fly out, followed by another strikeout on the ground, up the middle, and it is going to be dropped by the second baseman as Cassie Phillips not able to get a hold of it. Lindsey Whittles reaches on the error. That'll bring up Liz Kelly. And being a young team is Norton. I mean, defense is certainly something that comes with experience, and that goes to the stat I talked about earlier. Kelly Nelson, the pitcher, has given up 13 runs, only three of them earned, as this is hit into center field and will fall into the glove of Taylor Labotti for the first out of the inning. 
And now Kayla Sullivan coming to the plate. A two-run home run, her last time up, her fourth of the season. That pitch in there for a strike. Nelson with a little bit of speed there. I'm sure she'll add some extra sauce as she's pitching to Kayla Sullivan. And there's a strike, nice movement. Wide up and the pitch. That's fouled away. Kelly Nelson actually leads the TVL in ERA with a .38. Juliet Humes ERA is a zero, but she has not pitched in uh, all the games this season so far. This is only her fourth game. So the current ERA leader, pitcher for Norton, is that pitch on the ground? It'll get away from Carly Acaro. Lindsey Whittles will advance on the wild pitch. A one and two count. So Whittle's over at second base now with one out. Wide up and the pitch. And there is a strike and Kayla Sullivan will go down looking. Don't be surprised if you don't see too many more Hiller's innings like the first. There's a strike. This is a great pitching matchup here today. Kate Wellzell struck out her last time up in the first, looking for a hit here. On the ground, third base side, picked up at third base, throw to first in time, and that will do it for the bottom of the third as Wellzell goes down five to three. We will head to the top of the fourth. It's a two nothing Hopkinton Hillers lead. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They're a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Hopkinton Drug is located at 52 Main Street. Top half of the fourth inning, a two to nothing, Hiller's lead. Due up for Norton, Taylor Labotti, Cassie Phillips, and Steph Noski to face Juliet Hume, who is nine for nine. Struck out all nine hitters she's faced so far. She waits the sign and deals. There's a strike. Taylor Labotti, uh, Taylor Sabati, excuse me, is a sophomore, 274. Three ERA. There's a strike. Oh, and two. As the wind really starting to blow. Hume will pitch against the wind. And perhaps that give the ball the extra rise out of the strike zone. One and two. About a 10 to 12 mile an hour gust here as that's fouled away. Hume set to deal. That is up high. Wide up and the pitch, down low. Hume to the set, swinging strike. That is strikeout number 10. That will bring up Cassie Phillips. Wide up and the pitch. That's outside. Hume to the set. Fouled away.
set to deal. This is hit in the air towards left field and is going to drop in. That's going to be a base hit. Oh no, it's foul. So called foul. That was just out of the field of play. And Lizzie Whittles went to chase it down in that corner. So one and two. That was awfully close as Hume set to deliver. There's strike three. That is number 11. Stefanoski will now come to the plate. First three innings of this game were played in a total time of a half hour. Fast moving one here today as that one's fouled away. That's because you got two very good pitchers on the mound. A lot of strikeouts so far between the two. Hume set to deal. That is low for a ball. One and one count on Oski. Who, like everybody else in the Norton batting order, struck out her last time up. Wide up and the pitch. Strike three. Uh, strike two, excuse me. A little premature there. One and two. Hume to the set. Upstairs. Hume deals. There is strike three, got away from the catcher. The throw to first, not in time. And Oski will reach on the pass ball. So she reaches after the strikeout and now Carly Acaro is due up. Carly Acaro, a junior, 393 hitter. 11 for 28 overall. But the streak's still technically intact for Hume. Wide up and the pitch. Down low. One and O. Oh. Hume awaits the sign and deals. Ball two, throw down to first, runner back safe. Hume delivers, down low, throw to first, runner back safe, but it gets into right field and the runner will advance. So another error allows Noski to Get to second base, and it's a 3-0 count. This could be a good opportunity here for Norton to try to get on the board. Hume delivers, swinging strike. Three and one. Wind up and the pitch, foul tip, three and two. Hume battles back. to the set, swinging strike. And how about that? Technically, Juliet Hume struck out 13 hitters in four innings. And it is two to nothing, Hillers, as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth inning, a two nothing Hillers lead, due up for the Hillers. Jenna Bogan, Juliet Hume, and Nicole Como. 
to face Kelly Nelson, who has been terrific the last couple innings. Nelson set to deliver, hit in the air towards center, battling the sun and making the catch is Taylor Sabati for the first out. That will bring up Juliet Hume, who had a single her last time up. Juliet Hume has technically struck out 13 hitters in four innings. Did not allowed a runner to reach base except for a pass ball after a strikeout. Swinging strike, one and one. The freshman Kelly Nelson to the set. Swinging strike. This could be a T this could be the TVL championship right here. These two teams in this pitching matchup, because that is down low. When you have pitchers like Kelly Nelson and Juliet Hume, it's all about which defense is going to make the first mistake or which hitter is going to catch the rare mistake by the opposing pitcher, because it doesn't happen very often. And there is a strike. Hume gets a taste of her own medicine. She goes down looking, second out of the inning. That'll bring up Nicole Como. Right up and the pitch, that is inside. As the, you can hear in the microphone, the wind really starting to whip around a bit. Is that pitch up high? And it is habitually windy at these, at the Hopkinton High School fields. And this is hit in the air towards center and gloved by Taylor Sabati. And that will be the third out of the bottom of the fourth. We head to the top of the fifth, two to nothing, Hillers. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Weston Nurseries located at 93 Main, East Main Street. Visit their garden centers in Hopkinton or Chelmsford and discover limitless possibilities to create your backyard paradise. Find them online at westonnurseries.com. We are ready for the top half of the fifth inning. Juliet Hume back out into the pitcher's circle. And so far there's really only one word to describe her performance. That word is unbelievable. She has struck out technically 13 hitters in four innings and has not done anything else besides strikeout hitters. The only runner to reach for Norton this game was Stepnoski back in the fourth, and she reached on a pass ball after the strikeout. So the streak still intact. As due up this inning for Norton is Kelly Nelson, the pitcher. Kylie Barrows, the first baseman, and Leah Butner, the right fielder for the Lancers. Norton undefeated on the season. Hopkinton trying to end that streak. And this season, you just see the development and really the Hillers across the diamond on both sides of the ball at, at bat and defensively. They have come a long way in a couple short months as that pitch filed away. Freshman Kelly Nelson, a pretty good hitter too. 10 for 30 heading into this game at the plate. 333 average. And that pitch down low, one and one. Hume awaits the sign and deals. There's strike two. Upstairs. Hume away 
meets the side. Wide up and the pitch, and there's a strike. Two and two. Hume to the set. And this is hit into left field, and the streak is over as Kelly Nelson breaks it up with a single. Kylie Barrows will now come to the plate. So the perfect game broken up, or the perfect game potential. And we have a pinch runner at first base for the Lancers. And stepping to the plate is Kylie Barrows. And now, there's going to be a pinch first base coach for the Lancers. That was the hold up there as Kelly Nelson went back to the bench. That one's fouled away. Wide up and the pitch. That is just outside. One and one. And this is hit in the air. Foul territory. Is it in play? It was, but tripping up on her way to it was Renee Cooprider. And the uh, pinch runner is Mel Morris for Norton. She stays at first. One and two. Swinging strike. And check it at first. They almost got her, but she's back safe. Barros goes down, and now Leah Butner will come up to the plate. There is still some very interesting streaks alive here, but I'm not gonna talk about them too much due to people who are superstitious as that pitch is inside. But some very interesting streaks still alive for Juliet Hume who has pitched a gem so far. There's a strike. One and one. Hume to the set, and this is hit foul. One and two. Hume awaits the sign. Hume set to deal. And that is just low. Two and two. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air to left field, and it is caught for the out. Lizzie Whittles makes the catch. So not every out that Norton gets will be a strikeout. But so far, 13 of them are. As Olivia Peterson comes to the plate. And that was the streak I was referring to earlier, which I did not want to mention at the time. Good throw down the line by Kelly. Back to the bag safely is Nelson.
those of you just joining us, you're watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Bob Hamilton on camera. Tom Nappy on the call. It's 2 nothing Hillers over the Lancers as that pitch inside. A 2-0 count. And this has been an absolutely great pitching performance between Juliet Hume for the Hillers and Kelly Nelson for the Lancers. Lancers 8-0 on the season heading into this game. The Hillers 8-1. Two and one count on Olivia Peterson. Line up and the pitch from Hume. That is just inside, three and one. Hume to the set. There is a strike, three and two. Hume is set to deliver. And this is hit in the air, foul territory and out of play. And doing a quick guesstimate, that is about the seventh time Norton has even made contact with the ball. That's how effective Juliet Hume's pitchers have been today so far. And there is a strike. It does get by the catcher, and the runner is going to not reach first in time. And actually, they are going to give her the base, it looks like. And now Kelly Nelson advanced to second on the wild on the uh, pass ball. And now they're debating if she should have third as well. And that is the talk going on between the umpires. They're going to send her back to second. But Peterson did reach and the call was Sullivan did not keep her foot on the bag which allowed the runner to reach throw pulled her off. So that's the second time a runner's reached on a strikeout. And with the crazy movement on some of Juliet Hume's pitches, it's not the easiest thing to be behind the plate and try to catch those pitches. Just a some very good movement on them. And Liz Kelly overall does a great job, but a couple times they're gonna get by it. Now, Norton head coach, Wade Lazat talking to the umpire, trying to figure out what the reasoning was for not allowing the runner to have third base as well. And now the other umpire going to come in and I think they might end up giving the runner third base. Or maybe perhaps the other umpire, the infield umpire has a better description of why they would not. As far as I know, on a pass ball play, that would usually only allow you one base. So I think ultimately that's what the decision is. Jen Carmanica with a chance to get Norton on the scoreboard. Two outs, runners on first and second. Hume delivers up high. Nice job by Kelly pulling that one down. Hume to the set. Swinging strike. to the set, there's a strike, one and two. Swinging strike, 
And yet another strikeout for Juliet. And that will be the third out of the top of the fifth. We head to the bottom of the fifth, two to nothing Hillers. Bottom of the fifth inning. The lineup and the pitch from Nelson is a little bit high. 1-0 and on Molly Bennett, who flew out her last time up. 2-0 lead for the Hillers. Both runs came in the first inning. Is that pitch up high? It was a two-run home run from Kayla Sullivan that drove in Hannah Engstrom. And that has been the only scores of the game so far. That pitch up high. Juliet Hume has pitched sensational 16 strikeouts, two of which runners reached on pass balls. That pitch inside. And that is going to draw the walk for Molly Bennett. So runner on to start the bottom of the fifth. That'll bring up Hannah Engstrom. Up in the pitch, Engstrom lays down the bunt, slow roller, infield dirt, throw to first, is going to go in and out of the glove of Barrows. And all runners are gonna be safe, rolls into right field, runner held up at third. So Molly Bennett gets all the way to third, Engstrom reaches on the error. It's the second error of the game for Norton, that'll bring up Lindsey Whittles. Kelly Nelson set to deliver. Runner taking off from first, and there will be no throw. Stolen base for Hannah Engstrom. Two runners in scoring position for the Hillers. Nelson set to deliver. That is fouled away. A one and one count. Nelson to the set, just outside, two and one. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air, and that is hit in foul territory. And it looked like Stefanoski, or excuse me, that was a shortstop. Ali Frontino had some troubles with the sun getting to that, so she was unable to make the catch. If you're looking up from the infield, the sun is pretty much right in your eyes. As that gets by Arcaro, no advancement by the runners. Nice job by Arcaro, tracking it down. Count is full on Whittles. Whittles reached on an error and struck out so far. On the ground, gloved by the second baseman, throw to first. That will be in time, but a run does score. Molly Bennett comes around to make it three to nothing, Hillers. Hannah Engstrom reaches third, and a sacrifice RBI ground out for Whittles for the first out of the inning, and now Liz Kelly will come to the plate. Liz Kelly 0 for 2 on the day. Nelson is set to deal. There's a strike. 0 and 1. That pitch just inside 1 and 1. Liz Kelly, 500 batting average on the season coming into this game. 13 for 26. And that pitch is just inside, two and one. To the set, hit in the air and it is foul territory. No one there to make the catch, and it is two and two. Drive it, Lizzie, drive it. 
Due up on deck is Kayla Sullivan. Three and four hitters. Right up and the pitch. That is in there for strike three. Two outs in the inning. Now Kayla Sullivan coming to the plate. Right up and the pitch, and that looks like it got a piece of Sullivan, and she will get the free pass to first. I don't know, maybe that was a message pitch by Nelson. That'll bring up Kate Wellzell. Coach Baker over at first, giving some signs. The bunt it was squared, pulled back, strike one. And the runner from first, Kayla Sullivan, did advance on a stolen base to second. That pitch down low. One and one. Nelson to the set, swinging strike. One and two count to the set. Down low, two and two. You gotta give Kelly Nelson credit. There's been a few innings where she's been in a jam and she's battled back and gotten out of the inning. That's fouled away. She's given up one run so far this inning, but trying not to uh, allow the damage to increase. That run was unearned. Or actually, excuse me, it was an earned run. As there is a swinging strike, throw to first in time, third out of the inning. The run scored on a sacrifice RBI ground out by Whittles, and that made it three to nothing Hillers. We head to the top half of the sixth. Top half of the sixth inning as Norton running out of opportunities to try to get back into this game. Top of the order is due up. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Remax Executive Realty My House Partners. My House Partners serves the entire Hopkinton Mass real estate market including surrounding areas. Find them online at myhousepartners.com. Due up for the Norton Lancers is the top of the order. Taylor Sabati, Cassie Phillips, and Steph Noski. As Hume set to deliver. Line up and the pitch is down low, one and oh. Set inside two and oh. That's foul tipped two and one. Hume delivers a breaking ball that did not quite break enough three and one. Wide up and the pitch is low. And that is only the first walk of the game for Hume. And actually that is only the second walk of the season for Hume. Cassie Phillips will come to the plate. Down low, one and oh. Juliet Hume has struck out 16 hitters two of which reached via a passed ball. Hume delivers, swinging strike, blazes it by her. One and one. Hume to the set, 
And this is hit up the middle off the glove of Hume. Gloved at shortstop, throw to second, and they get her. So that is a fielder's choice. One out. One on, one out, and coming to the plate, Stefanoski. Hume delivers, hit in the air, shallow bloop shot, caught at third base, two away. Nicole Como making the catch. That'll bring up Carly Arcaro, the catcher. Hillers have had, this is their fourth straight home game. They'll go on the road for a couple games. Coming up this week. HCAM is hoping to join them Friday though in Bellingham. As head coach of the Hillers, Dennis Baker Jr. will meet up with his father's Bellingham Blackhawks, the state champions from last year. That pitch up high. Expect highlights and the game from Bellingham coming up on the HCAM side as that is fouled behind the, towards the backstop. And it looked like the wind was either toying with it or Liz Kelly had some trouble with the sun but was unable to make the catch. It is one and two. On, like you you Hume set to deliver. Upstairs. The scoreboard saying uh, three and one. Wide up and the pitch. And this is chopped into right center and that'll drop in for a hit. A good attempt by Hannah Engstrom but unable to come up with the catch. And that'll put runners on the corners. Cassie Phillips advances. And that is the second hit of the game for Norton. That'll bring up Kelly Nelson to the plate. And Dennis Baker is going to come out and talk to Hume. He's also gonna call out a couple of the infielders, discuss what to do here. I highly doubt that Hume will leave this game and until it's over unless she runs into a real jam. The single by Akaro, only the second hit of the game given up by Hume. And that was a great attempt at a dive by Engstrom. We're gonna have a pinch runner for the Norton Lancers. Julie Carmanica is going to pinch run. We are set for Kelly Nelson, who hit a single last inning in the fifth. A good hitter in Kelly Nelson. Christina Dunn is the pinch runner at first. Wind up and the pitch is inside and high, 1-0. and oh. Hume to the set, strike one. Nelson a 333 hitter heading into this game. 10 for 30 at the plate, swinging strike. One and two. Yeah, that pitch just high. Line 
Wind up and the pitch. Swinging strike, and that'll do it for the inning. A little jam for Juliet Hume, but she gets out of it. And still, Norton is scoreless. It's three to nothing, Hopkinton heading to the bottom of the sixth. Bottom half of the sixth inning, Kelly Nelson trying to hold Hopkinton to three. As Norton will be down to their final three outs, their next at bats. Due up for Hopkinton, Jenna Bogan, Juliet Hume, and Nicole Como. A pretty good part of the order to have up. As Hopkinton going to try to secure some insurance. Nelson set to deliver. That pitch down low, 1-0. The set and on the ground up the middle and Nelson will handle it. Throw to first, not a problem. Nice job by Nelson, keeping cool under the pressure. Bobbled it a little bit, had trouble getting the grip. But kept her composure and was able to get the easy out. That pitch up high. Hume trying to help her own cause here. She is one for two so far today. On the ground, up the middle, bobbled at short, picked up and no throw. Hume reaches. That is an error on the shortstop. Allie Frontino. As Coach Baker having a discussion with the ump and that discussion is about the pinch runner coming in. Isabel Holden will pinch run for Hume. Hume will get a breather so she can get ready for the top of the seventh. Nicole Como will step in. Set to deal. That is low. One and O. Oh. To the set. That's fought off foul. One and one on Como. She's struck an out and flown out so far today. Nelson to the set, and there's a strike. Nelson delivers, just low. Two and two on Como. Line up and the pitch, and this is up the middle, off the second base bag, and that'll get away from everyone. And then it's bobbled in center field. Both runners will proceed to scoring position. Juliet Hume, or excuse me, Isabel Holden, the pinch runner for Juliet Hume, pushes up the third. Nicole Como pushes up the second. And a little mishap in center field, and that is just pure bad luck when it goes off the second base bag. That is just pure bad luck there. So you gotta reward Como with the single. Certainly not an error. Just an awkward bounce off the second base bag and a big break for the Hillers. As Molly Bennett, a chance to do some damage. One out, two runners on, both in scoring position. Nelson set to deal, and that is low. A one and O count. Kelly delivers, swinging strike. One and one. Nelson 
Delivers low, and Kelly Nelson, she has gone out of a couple jams. Last inning could have been a lot worse. It only resulted in one run for the Hillers off a sacrifice ground out for Whittles. The Hillers had the two lead hitters reach, as there is a strike, two and two. Molly Bennett reached on a single. Hannah Engstrom reached on an error behind the plate. Then the sacrifice allowed a run to score. And that pitch is a ball, three and two. Ms. Kelly then struck out. Kayla Sullivan was hit by a pitch, and then a nice job by Nelson to strike out Wellzell. And there is another strikeout for Kelly Nelson as Molly Bennett goes down swinging. I'll bring up Hannah Engstrom. Engstrom is one for three, reached on an error and singled, scored a run in the first on the two run shot by Kayla Sullivan as that pitch down low. Nice job by catcher Carly Arcaro keeping it in front. Engstrom a good hitter, 333 heading into this game. Also has a pair of doubles on the season. That pitch inside, two and oh. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air, foul out of play. Two and one. Nelson to the set, down low. Three and one. Wide up and the pitch, and this is hit into center field. That drops down, one run into score. Second run being waved around, and Hannah Engstrom will reach second. A collision with Ali Frontino, the shortstop. Frontino went to cover the bag and just an unfortunate situation as contact was made between Engstrom and Frontino. Certainly hope that she's okay as Coaches will check on her. But two runs score on the two RBI single by Engstrom. She reached second on the throw in. It's a five to nothing lead for the Hillers. With two outs in the inning, Lindsey Whittles due up. But right now, Ali Frontino being attended to. By Wade Lazat, the head coach. And it looks like maybe a leg injury is, and a, perhaps an ankle. And it looks like uh, her ankle being looked at right now. And that was just an unfortunate collision. And Engstrom just trying to clear a path, get to the bag, slid in. Now the fans giving an applause as Frontino will be helped up and she is to her feet and seems to be walking okay. So the injury hopefully not too serious and looks like she's gonna walk it off and stay in the game. So just a little shooken up there. Perhaps it was a shin shot. And a cleat in the shin is about one of the worst pains you could experience. So I'm assuming that's what it was because that's the area they were looking at. So now Norton will have a toss around the diamond. Make sure everyone's loose and ready to go. Five nothing Hillers is Lindsey Whittles at the plate. Two outs in the inning. Runner on second. The pitch is just outside. One and O count. Nelson set to deliver. Down low, two and O. Wind really starting to get 
more consistent here. That pitch outside. 3-0 and oh on Whittles. Whittles had the sacrifice RBI in the fifth. He's 0 for 2 today as there's a strike. He's reached on an error in the third and struck out so far. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air towards left field. That'll drop in for a hit. And Engstrom waved around, will score the sixth. Hiller's run, an RBI single for Whittles, and she advances the second on the throw in. And that went right between the left fielder and the shortstop. Aramanica and the shortstop, Ali Frontino, as Liz Kelly to the plate takes strike one. So some insurance in the sixth inning for the Hillers. Wind up and the pitch, followed away. And for those of you just joining us, you're certainly going to want to catch the encore of this game. It's been a fantastic one. Six nothing lead for the Hillers. Juliet Hume has pitched superb in this game. And this is hit in the air, a little bloop shot, and it's gloved by the shortstop, Ali Frontino. A nice job, got a little tripped up by the second base bag, but able to make the catch. But the Hillers grab some insurance on the bottom of the six. They played three more runs, it's six nothing, heading to the seventh inning. Top half of the seventh inning, the Norton Lancers down to their final three outs. as Juliet Hume out there to try to Complete this game. And she has pitched a gem so far. 17 strikeouts heading into the seventh. Two of those strikeouts did reach on the passed ball. So 15 strikeouts for outs, but 17 total. Due up for Norton is Kylie Barrows, who steps in right now, followed by Leah Butner and Olivia Peterson. Line up and the pitch, on the ground foul. 0-1. Oh Hume is set to deliver. And there's a strike, 0-2. Oh Hume, the wide up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air, and it is Going to be towards the outer part of the infield and battling the sun, battling the wind, making the catch is Molly Bennett. One away. Now will bring up Leah Butner. Butner a sophomore and a 160 average heading into this game. This Norton team, they're a very young team, only two seniors on the roster as that pitch outside. But they're 8-0 heading into this game. A very good squad under head coach Wade Lazat. And I think Norton and Hockington be could become a potential postseason matchup. But still pretty early in the season, of course. As that pitch down low, 2-0. Wind up and the pitch, hit in the air, and it is going to go towards third base side out of play. Two and one. Bob Hamilton on camera today, Tom Nappy on the call for what has been a terrific game between two of the top teams in the TVL. The Hillers two outs away from taking over first place in the TBL and giving Norton their first loss of the season. The wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air and fair territory, and Juliet Hume sniped it away from Liz Kelly, the catcher. And that is the second out of the inning. Liz Kelly was waiting for it, and then Juliet Hume just swipes it away. And then they give each other a nice smirk after the out, and that will bring up 
Olivia Peterson. One out away. Line up and the pitch. As down low. So far 17 of the 20 Norton outs. Or actually 15 of the 20 Norton outs were strikeouts. There's two reached on pass balls. That pitch inside. The line up and the pitch. Swinging strike. Two and one. Hume going for her fourth complete game this season. Strike two. Two and two. And this is tipped and roller on the infield. Dirt and the throw gets away. So Norton not done yet. Peterson reaches on the error. And that'll bring up Carmanica. As Jen Carmanica will step in and so far she's 0 for 2, a couple strikeouts. Swinging strike, 0 and 1. Hume delivers, and that's hit foul. Down the first base side, 0-2. Hume set to deal. There it is, strike three, and that will do it. Juliet Hume gets her 18th strikeout, 16th strikeout, four and out, and the Hopkinton Hillers Knock off the Norton Lancers six to nothing. A brilliant performance by Juliet Hume on the mound. And that is her fourth shutout victory. And she has only started four games this season, but gets her fourth straight shutout victory. As the Hillers take over first place in the Tri-Valley League. Giving Norton their first loss of the season. Norton now eight and one on the season. The Hillers are nine and one on the season. And in control of the TVL. We'll take a quick timeout, come back and wrap this game up. You're watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HK. A great win for the Hopkinton Hillers as they take down the Norton Lancers six to nothing. The first loss of the year for the Norton Lancers. The Hillers have taken over first place in the TVL. The Hillers are now nine and one on the season. Norton falls to eight and one. But the story of today is what a brilliant performance by Juliet Hume. She was absolutely sensational. Her fourth straight shutout victory and she has pitched only uh, four games this season including this one and today she had 18 strikeouts 16 of which counted for an out two of the strikeouts the hitter reached on a passed ball but 16 out of the 18 outs or 16 out of the 21 outs for the Norton Lancers were strikeouts, so an unbelievable performance by Juliet Hume. And so far, through the four games, she has pitched 49 overall strikeouts. Quite an unbelievable number for four games. And certainly she is showing that she is a dominant pitcher and a force to be reckoned with here in the TVL. But the other story of today's game was the great hitting by the Hopkinton Hillers because the pitcher they were facing was Kelly Nelson, who is the leading pitcher for ERA in the TVL. And she is, of course, uh, at a .38, and Juliet Hume has a zero ERA, but Hume has not pitched in every game this season. So Nelson technically the leader. 
But today the Hillers hitters got to her a little bit. It started early on. Hannah Ingstrom started the game with a single. And then a couple outs would happen, followed by a two-run blast by Kayla Sullivan over the center field fence, her fourth home run of the season. She is leading the TVL in home runs. That made it two to nothing, Hillers. And then the, the Hillers would not score until the fifth inning in which Molly Bennett would come around on a sacrifice RBI by Lindsey Whittles. And then in the sixth, the Hillers played it three more runs as Juliet Hume, Nicole Como, and Hannah Ingstrom would all come around. Hannah Ingstrom hit a two RBI single to drive home Hume and Como, followed by an RBI single by Lindsey Whittles to drive in Ingstrom. But a great overall performance by the Hopkinton Hillers. A sensational performance by pitcher Juliet Hume. A home run by the cleanup hitter Kayla Sullivan. Everything going well for the Hopkinton Hillers. And this team has really come a long way since they took the field in practice. They are certainly a force to be reckoned with in the TVL as the Hillers win their fourth straight game in shutout fashion, six to nothing over the Norton Lancers, nine and one on the season. And that is just about going to do it for coverage here of Hopkinton softball from the high school fields. Once again, the Hopkinton Hillers take down the Norton Lancers, six to nothing. Juliet Hume goes the complete game, striking out 18 and pitching sensational, only giving up two hits. Norton had no runs, two hits, three errors. Hopkinton had three errors, and they scored six runs on seven hits. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us for this HCAM production of Hopkinton Hillers Softball. <laughs> Thank you.